Let's look at the debate. According to the Dictionary of African Christian Biography, the teaching of origin on the Trinity, now that's a person, O-R-I-G-E-N, not I-N, or a jinn, on the Trinity, continued to influence theological reflection in the East long after his death in 254 A.D. Origen had thought of the Father and the Son as two distinct realities and had only been able to preserve a monotheistic standpoint by admitting that the Son was in some sense subordinate to the Father. The Son was pre-existent and related to the Father as ever-begotten and co-eternal, yet he occupied a level of being within the Godhead lower than the Father. Saving baptism was not complete except by the authority of the most excellent trinity of them all. That is, it is made complete by naming Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In this we join the name of the Holy Spirit to the unbegotten God, the Father and to his only begotten Son, 4252. We have mentioned evidence from Matthew 28, 19, which seems to be a church plant to the original text to bolster the belief in a trinity. The SYBT ends this page entitled, What the Antinocene Fathers Taught by Thus. The testimony of the Bible and of history makes clear that the Trinity was own, known throughout biblical times and for several centuries thereafter. I am a student who attempts to remain objective. Now, this is me speaking. Having grown up under this Trinitarian doctrine, yet I must agree with this JW conclusion by an independent research of my own, independent of them, or even knowledgeable of J.W. doctrine to any extent. Truth is truth. I believe it's a reasonable conclusion. So looking at objection for the Trinity doctrine did not emerge until the fourth century. Okay, I agree. I have done independent study maintaining objectivity. I've read what these historians say, and it's obvious to me that this Trinitarianism took decades and perhaps centuries to form and develop. As I contemplated this, I came to think of it as a primitive Trinitarianism developing partly from an influx of Greek philosophy into, merged into the church. The further we get back from the apostles, the more we drift from their original teachings contained in scripture and into church mode, organized religion, what I call canned religion, that neither our savior nor his apostles endorsed or even conceived of. This is terrible to me. It's a bit like a picture developing in a photo lab. It takes a while. Again, a lot of support for this position comes from my research into the book 381 AD. Objection five, the church fell into total apostasy. J.W.'s assert the early Christian church fell into complete apostasy after his death, after the death of the apostles. And, there, and to that I say this, there's no question in my mind that's true. Not a J.W., I embrace this conclusion from independent study totally.